Hey guys, welcome back to episode 21 of the Confidence Reset for multi-passionate language learners who are looking for a little bit more compassion, curiosity, and joy, as well as motivation along their language learning journey. My name is Emily from Language Travel D, and we are discussing and we are discussing why there is no clear roadmap to language learning, plus why that actually benefits us as language learners, even though it sounds initially like a barrier. As language learners, we are very used to roadmaps in our learning in some form, right? That can be on an app that we are using as it carries us into each chapter or each streak of the week. It can be a textbook that we like using. It can be our own goals that we make for ourselves at the end of the year. That is all useful. It can be super motivating, but it is just a tool to the bigger picture, which is your personal journey. And that is super flexible. It's the most flexible thing you will ever have ever experience in your language learning. That's why there is no roadmap pretty much to language learning or to life in general. And why is there no roadmap? Well, again, we all need to remind ourselves we are so unique. We have many similarities. However, no one experiences the exact same life that we have. We can make that language learning routine, a language learning vision board, see all of the advertisements that say you must do this for your language learning success. But remember, there are no must do's. There are no shoulds in reality, even though a lot of what we see in the language learning community makes it feel like there are. I've heard so many different roadmaps from various language learners I've talked to, from someone learning English in 10 years just by conversing. There have been others, including myself, who have done courses with other learners, plus using a combination of studying on one's own, studying every day, studying a few times a week only, focusing heavily on grammar, focusing not on grammar at all, or maybe just the basic speaking immediately from day zero versus speaking maybe a year or two after they started learning the language. But the main takeaway here is that everyone that I talked to that experimented with these different methods were all successful in their goals. So there are a million, probably even more than a million, right? Roads to get to where you want to go. No one is better than the other. Plus it's important to keep in mind another tip, what works for some may not work for others. Again, your personality plays a factor into this. What fits with my personality the most? We all have different coping mechanisms that we probably subconsciously use whenever we are faced with challenges developed from our past experiences, and that can widely differ, that can widely affect our egos in different ways at different points in our lives. And when life happens, as it inevitably does to all of us, there will be different motivations, different reasons that we craft our goals accordingly. Even with certain languages, right? If we have a go-to method for several languages where that has worked, great, but it's not guaranteed to work for every single language that you try to study afterwards. And most likely, the more languages you study, the more sooner that you're going to find out that that's true. And I definitely encountered it probably on my fourth or fifth language. Especially if we are transitioning to different language families, we are going to encounter logistical challenges with the language's grammar, writing system, etc. that we were just not used to with our previous languages. Also, if there is an emotional hurdle or mental hurdle that we have with a specific language, we have so many relationships that we build consciously and probably a lot unconsciously around the languages that we learn. And so depending on what that is, no matter what national standard terms defined as hard or easy languages, right, that can still affect us more than any other thing can. All of this, of course, is going to force you to reevaluate, re-navigate your goals, and the longer that you're on this journey, the more that you're going to notice how much nuance goes into language learning in the first place. And the more that it is reinforced, there is no one size fits all approach. Remember, success is defined differently by different people as it should be because we have such a range of different experiences. So knowing that we have that flexibility, that we do not have a clear roadmap, I want you to give yourself permission today to think if the most popular methods, resources, goals are truly fitting you most as the person that you are. If they do, that's great. That's going to happen with some people. That's going to happen with some languages. And if not, take pressure off yourself if you feel you do not fit into the language learning path that others before you have carved out for you. Take pressure off yourself if what they suggest for you is actually not working for you after you try to implement it. Give yourself even more permission than all of that to just be creative a little bit more, play around and carve out your own 
language learning journey. I did make an ebook with over 90 ideas and activities for language learners who are still learning by themselves and could use some more new ideas with how to interact with their languages to still keep it fresh. So definitely check that out in the description below. Otherwise, if you would like to work with me, make sure you book your free discovery call for seeing if we are a good fit to work more one-on-one -on -one with each other and check out this video for more language confidence.